largest bomb in DCS today is the same as it was when DCS World came out years ago, and that is the Mark 84 2000 pounder. But is it worth carrying all that weight around? In this video, we're going to compare the destructive power of the Mark 84 up against its little brothers, the Mark 83, the 1000 pound version, and the Mark 82, that is the 500 pound version. All of these weapons we've listed are unguided, however they do come in all the modern variations expected on the battlefield today, which include the laser guided version and the so-called JDAM, which is the INS GPS guided version. All of the weapon variations that we have mentioned each contain the exact same amount of explosive power as their standard iron bomb counterparts. There are of course various different targets we can use to perform this test. For this experiment we'll be using 35 trucks parked side by side. The fire engines you see here from left to right is 380 feet and the target will be the centre most vehicle. Rules will be one bomb dropped from a north to south profile. These vehicles are lined up east to west. We will be giving five points for each vehicle that is completely destroyed. Four points for one that's severely damaged. We're then going to drop down to two points if it's reasonable damage and one point for a lightly damaged vehicle, giving of course zero for those left in perfect condition. So with all the ground rules out the way, a big hello there to you all and an especially warm welcome to the returning subscribers of the channel. It's nice to have you with me again here in the F-14 Tomcat as we take the first run with the Mark 82s. And we're going to aim for somewhere nicely down the middle, pitching down ever so slightly. And pickle. Let's pitch up, roll over, and direct hit. So here we are in the F10 map view. I will spare you this in the future runs. It's just so you can follow along on my mythology. I've allowed for 60 seconds so that any secondary explosions can take place and the damage can take its toll on that. Here we review the results. 13 vehicles left in perfect condition, 9 are in good condition, 3 are okay, 2 are bad, and 8 have been completely destroyed. So if we add all that up, it's 63 points for the first run. So after the three runs with the Mark 82, we got 63 points, 77 and 77 again, even though the damage was distributed differently between runs 2 and 3. It's actually really hard when you make quite when you've been working on videos for a while, you do start talking rubbish, as I'm sure you've noticed. So here we go. The first Mark 83 standing by. Pickle. Pulling up. Rolling to the side. Zooming out. Boom. Here are the results of the first run with the Mark 83. You can see there's a lot more spread. There's a lot more taking damage there. In fact, only two vehicles left in perfect condition. We have 15 in good condition, 4 are okay, 3 are in bad condition, and 11 are completely destroyed. After the third run has been completed with the Mark 83s, the scores look something like this. Do note there was actually four runs completed with the Mark 83s. That's because on the second run, I was slightly off to one side and I felt that it wouldn't be fair to include the result. The bomb actually ended up hitting three or four vehicles to the right of centre. And you can see it did actually skew the results significantly enough to redo the test. So the second result here, although I included it in grey out form, is not included in the overall totals. This time we have the first run with the Mark 84s. So the big boys, you join me lining up for the target. Drop this one nice and high, folding the wings back. Try and get it in the centre. Pickle. Pitching up nice and high this time because we're expecting a big splash. Kaboom. Nice and centralised again. I wonder if we got more right out the gate this time. Here are the results for the first Mark 84 weapon. We have zero left in perfect condition. So that's the first time that we have killed every single, or at least inflicted some damage on every single vehicle. We have 14 left in good condition. We have four remaining that are okay. Two in bad condition. Those are the red ones. And 16 dead. So on the first run, we managed to kill 16. So far, that is a record. 16 dead and zero left in perfect condition. Let's see if we can repeat that in runs number two and three, or perhaps even beat it. And pickle. 
Let's pull up, zoom out a tad, roll over. And once again, bullseye. Very happy with that. Looks like another very good one. I wonder how this compares with the last one. Did we manage to beat it? Let's find out. It's a record. The third and final bomb with the Mark 84 is the winner. Once again, we are left with zero in perfect condition. We have 10 left in good condition, two in OK condition, three left in bad condition and a whopping 20 completely destroyed. 20 vehicles completely destroyed out of 35. That is the record. And after that amazing run, here we see the results of all three. Clearly the most destructive weapon, no surprise there. Let's now put all the results side to side in graphical form so we can compare how they all did visually. For those of you still with the video, thank you very much. I appreciate that an awful lot because there's an awful lot of work that also goes into making each and every one of these videos. I'm aware in the modern era, most people do click off halfway through. That's just the way it is in society today. It is nice to have people appreciate the video and how much effort I do put in. I do believe in adding more detail. I'm aware that makes the video longer. And for the people that just like to watch the big fireworks and then move on to something else, I'm aware this video is not for you. However, if you're still here, clearly that is not the case. You do appreciate the extra detail and I welcome that very much. Do consider leaving a like if that's you. It is much appreciated. And let's now get round to answering the question that this video was all about. Is carrying the Mark 84 or its cousin variants, i.e. the laser and INS guided, worth it? The clear answer in this video is no. The Mark 84 is four times the size of the Mark 82. And we can see looking at the scores, it doesn't even manage to score twice what the Mark 82 can do. And seen as most aircraft are capable of carrying two, if not three Mark 82s for every pylon, where they can only carry one Mark 84, it is clearly onto a loser in this situation. However, not all situations are equal, perhaps versus structures, armed targets like tanks, or even naval vessels, I expect these results to be very different. If this video does do well, expect such a test to come along in the future where we repeat this same experiment using different targets. So until next time, wherever in the world you may be, good morning, good afternoon, good evening and good night. Oh, that one was even closer.